gamekeeper manages the land. The game provides support for clients, the, whether it be looking after dogs, looking after ponies, rearing birds, just providing the perfect habitat for grouse to breed, or managing a deer herd. Again, habitat assessment to make sure that your, your, your land can support the animals that you've got and you're not going to create a, a welfare issue. The gamekeeper now, I think, is is required to, to think about other, how other people may want to, to use the land, not just for sporting interests, but other types of land use, you know, forestry and, and fishing, agriculture and renewable energy development. So all these things are going on in, in, in our landscape and the, the gamekeeper is a big, big part of so being able to accommodate different uh, activities um, on, on individual estates. UHI North Island College, they're the, they're the only ones that do mainly practical based coursework. So spending the majority of time getting your skills on this that is I find it key. Well, I, I basically I started off as a gamekeeper's son and I think uh, if we'd had this discussion ten years ago every man you'd spoken to would have been a gamekeeper's son. And I think uh, North Island College and now UHI have uh, opened opportunity to a wider market. The good thing about being able to uh, come to the college to study gamekeeping, it's, it opens the door for people, it can open the door for somebody who has an interest but you know, has no way of, of, of breaking into to, to the workplace. Go through all different, all different courses ranging from deer biology, deer management, habitat assessment, to even how to tack up a pony to go out and retrieve a stag off the hill. You know, there's a, a wide range of things that we learn. It's a broad skill set for a, for a wildlife manager, deer stalker or gamekeeper. You're covering a vast area of things. You need to be a good team player. You need to be able to work alone. And uh, I think they're increasingly valuable to Scotland and where Scotland needs to go in the future. When we get the students together in, in the college for periods of learning, that's a great you know, forum for sharing all the different experiences and the students can quickly see that there are lots of different objectives in terms of how our, our land's been managed. There's careers in public woodlands, there's careers in private woodlands, sporting estates, grouse moors, deer forests, and increasingly now on a broad spectrum of community land. So uh, opportunities are high, and I think UHI are turning out a good product. The fact that such a high level of them are recruited into full-time employment has got to be an accolade to the University of Highlands. You've got to have a, a good understanding of what the weather can be like, but other than that it can be very exciting, challenging, and it's not just for boys. You get the energy to do it, there's no reason why you shouldn't apply and do it.